how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, my prayer plant diary is back. Uh, it is now spring and I think we are ready to tackle another prayer plant. And if you don't know, I like doing prayer plant diaries and creative videos uh, when I have had a plant for at least a year. I want my prayer plants to experience the whole season so I will be able to share with you my experience of how I dealt with them to load the different seasons and so on. So again, just the disclaimer, all the care tips I will disclose here are my personal experiences uh, with my plant. Uh, you will most likely live in a different part of the world. So do what you think is best for your prayer plants. Like I said before, getting to know your plant is the key to making your plants happy and thrive. I just want to share my experiences on how I take care of my prayer plants and maybe use the care tips as a guideline to keep your prayer plants happy. Alrighty, I have a prayer plant diary playlist. Feel free to check it out. So yeah, without further ado, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to help my channel grow. Get your tea ready and let's get into this video. Hi guys, meet my Maranta, Lucinura Corchibiana. She is now at least one year old with me and it's still doing very well. I got this from eBay for such a great price and it is a mature plant. Uh, the seller was trying to get rid of all her plants and I was fortunate to find this. I'm going to insert the unboxing clip right now so you'll see what it looked like uh, when I received this. I repotted the plant it was root bound but I didn't have a major problem at all uh, and when this arrived a few of the leaves already had brown tips and some occurred along the way but definitely settling down with my environment as you can see there's new baby leaves and their leaves are darker and reddish uh, compared to the old leaves so mega pretty I love it so so much Hi guys, like this video if you like this content and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm on my way to 1k, really appreciate it if you help me to get there. Cheers! I used compost soil and mixed it with perlite and orchid bark and that's it. I only repotted it once when I received it. Like I said earlier, it was root bound and that's the only reason why I repotted it. And the plant is healthy when I got it. I use filtered water uh, from our fridge most of the time. I also use rainwater if there's any rainwater. And I only water the plant if the soil is dry, but sometimes I let it get too dry. Mainly because I keep forgetting to check the plant. Luckily, it's still happy. This Cordiviana is receiving medium to low light 12 feet away or so from my north facing window along with this plant. It's very happy here. As you can see, it has new baby leaves. Super cute. My living room's humidity range is more likely 50 to 70% during summer. In winter time, it's slightly under 40 to 50%. But this plant is growing strong especially as this winter was super cold we had snow until early spring it's unreal but like i said this plant is growing strong in fact during the winter it produces new leaves so 
I think this Maranta is quite tough. It lost a few leaves, but that was it. For the past couple of years, I have normally put my prayer plants on top of pebbles with water to increase or maintain the humidity. But I skipped it this year. The humidity is fine. It was just the cold was a major problem this winter. And if you want to see the prayer plants that were struggling and died on me this winter, link here or in the description bar. I did fertilize this this spring uh, with this. Link in the description bar if you want to check it out. But so far, it has had no side effects at all. Thank goodness. In fact, it's producing more leaves. Yay! <laughs> so guys, that's it. This is my Maranta Lucinura Scorchiviana Styri. She is happy. Easy to take care of, at least for me. Um, I said it before, I find Maranta plants are so easy to look after. I don't have any major problem with this at all. Um, brown tips, it's just the nature of prayer plants. Uh, even if you water this with rain water, it's still the same. So I think the humidity is the main issue based on my own experience. And we all know prayer plants are tropical plants. They love warm and humid environments. So alrighty, I hope you find this video helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you for watching until my next prayer plant diary. Bye!